What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today is day two. The age of labor guide is day two and we have over 15,000 records in day two. And like the amount of shops I have entered is very small right now. And they haven't got the updates, so make sure you click on help and, and check for update. And then after that, once you do that, just click on uh, build, uh, build our OW and just labor guide is gonna let you enroll. It's a self-learning guide. Um, uh, it's it's amazing to watch. I'm super excited. I just want to see how um, this uh, the, this labor guide is filling the information, organizing everything um, with the help of AI, of course. Uh, let's see. Let's see this vehicle. I was I was just checking this vehicle after like fifteen thousand records. What we have for this uh, for the fusion for the fusion. And it is based on VIN. Uh, somebody asked me that question. So it's not like, um, oh, by average. No, it's specific for that car. Uh, we are collecting the VIN number. Uh, we are collecting the year, make, model, and engine size, all four. Um, if something is, seems like inaccurate right now, no worries, man. We're gonna, we're gonna create another engine to fix this engine. So don't worry about that. Let's see what's, how is it filling. As long as it's fill in for the most part where it belongs, then we're on the right track. Uh, do we have enough data uh, to to have every single thing? I don't think every single thing, but you, we will have enough data to have every single thing that's breaking down. <laughs> so at least you have some confidence. I just want to show you this car, the, the Fusion, after two days. Let's see how much we have data. And I'll show you a trick of how do you know like gives you more confidence. So if we're gonna check the air, obviously this has to be a list at some point. But if I click on the air filter, it's gonna tell me where this information is coming from. It's coming from uh, 24 to 2015 for the fusion, and it's gonna tell you the size engine right there. So let's see, do we have 2.5 here? Yeah, it is 2.5, so it's accurate. Um, let's go back to labor guide again let's see where we have airbag we don't have anything yet body we have bumper rear okay see start filling up um let's see that bumper where does it come from 2017 for the fusion <laughs> uh let's go back um let's see on the brake all right so here we go we have front and rear uh, brake pads caliper uh, brake rotor all here um let's look at uh, cooling system all right, look, you have ra water pump, radiator. I think we have a problem here because I think it means radiator hose, but the radiator, the actual radiator is right here. So we gotta check on that, see what's going on. Thermostat, coolant temp sensor. And I'm not adding, and like the, I haven't, I'm not, add, like I haven't added one record. I'm not, I don't want that. I'm not interested in that. Um, let's look at drive belt. So we have drive belt here. Um, let's check drive belt, make sure it's coming. It's coming from 2017. And let's look at electrical right here. So you, here we go, you get your battery. Um, battery, I mean, there's two battery here, but the alternator is right here. Um, I mean, I'm a mechanic, so I'm looking at the hours. For the most part, it's pretty accurate. Like, but remember, these hours come from shops. So uh, me personally, I don't care if you're getting this data from Mitchell One or from VIP Labor Guide or it's just supposed to be a guide. You supposed to assess the situation. Um, uh, if the car is too old, if it's rusted, so you always modify it. And the beauty of VIP shop management will accommodate. Uh, you wanna tell me like if we're working on the 2015, 10 years from now, this is the same hours. I don't think so, that car is rusted, falling apart, man. It's a lot harder to work on. So VIP will, will actually continue to learn and continue to adjust automatically. Um, let's keep going. Let's see what else we have doing. So we, let's look at emission where we looked at electrical, right? Um, uh, emission, look, you have your vapor canister. So I'm telling you, it's amazing. After two days, um, let's look at engine. Uh, you get your cylinder head valve cover, timing belt. I don't know a cylinder head 20 hours. I think that, see, that's excessive. But, uh, and it's not at the same time. Um, to, to, to remove the engine, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming he removed the engine in this case. If you remove the engine, fix it up, that's one day, and there's the second day to put everything back together. So I don't, I don't know if this is bad. 
again but someone will charge 11 hours on this someone will charge seven hours on this it depends how he did it or how they did it so keep that in mind um let's keep going um what do we have exhaust there's a muffler i'm just showing you one car um hvac here we go your heater core is right here it's coming from 2016 2.0 okay so there's different engine here well at least again we'll, we'll figure it out like we can always because we are collecting the, the engine size right so we can always check like hey it's when we need to not right now right now we're still collecting data and we'll say okay well this is not the same engine right um ac condenser it's coming from the same engine um, but that that's what I like is you click on it to understand hey where is it coming from and even when you type it right there um, we'll talk about this let's go back right here we made every time right now you type in a labor it's gonna tell you um, where is it coming from and it's gonna check every time so let's say I'm, I'm t I want to get heater core right heater core and then I'm gonna the moment I click on it it's gonna tell me okay well it's coming from the titanium for well yeah we need to put the engine there for sure uh, we'll find a room for that just put the engine for sure um but did you notice like how it's checking every time let's go back and check something else let's say um uh, tune up tune up right tune up uh not to spark plugs should be spark plugs every time every time um air filter every time <laughs> all right so remember one thing though vip shop management will check your own labor guide remember every vip shop management uh, user have their own labor guide so we check your own labor guide first because that's better because you don't have to sit and modify it and if not then it'll check the vip labor guide i'm super excited let's see how many records we're gonna have after 30 days and god knows how many records we're gonna have after one year uh, I'm super excited to see this information fill in. Uh, we'll fix, we'll do some cleaning, we'll whatever it takes. Uh, let's make this happen. Uh, it just gives you more confidence. Let's just put it this way. Anyway, and we'll make it better. Don't worry. Whatever you th you see, it should be there. It will be there. Let's just be honest. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching.